In addition to the political turmoil in these final days of the Trump administration, vaccine distribution remains problematic. The CDC reports nearly 7 million first doses of the vaccine have been received. That's only 30% of the total distributed across the country. Meanwhile, infections continue to soar. Thursday was the deadliest day yet. Almost 4,200 people died from COVID-19. There have now been over 22 million cases and more than 372,000 are dead. We want to go now to former FDA commissioner, Dr. Scott Gottlieb. He sits on the board of Pfizer and Illumina, a company that is working on sequencing some of the new virus variants. He joins us from Westport, Connecticut this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. There are more people in this country hospitalized with COVID now than during the spring and summer combined. How much uh, are these new strains from the UK, from South Africa, contributing to this surge? Probably not a lot right now. Um, we're, we don't know for sure because we're not doing sequencing at a, at a big enough scale like the UK is to really detect these variants. We're looking for the UK variant right now. Um, but the method that we're using to try to detect the UK variant wouldn't necessarily spot the South African variant. So right now we think the prevalence of the UK variant is about 0.2 to maybe 0.3% of infections, and that's based on data that Illumina has helped uh, develop. With the South Africa variant, we don't think it's very prevalent here in the United States, but we could be missing more of those infections. So we don't think that these new variants right now are contributing to the surge of infection that we're seeing. We think this is a post-holiday bounce. But the bottom line is that we need a better system for detecting these things so we can have an adequate public health response. And how resistant are they to current treatments? Well, they, they appear more fit, meaning that they spread more easily, both of these variants. We've done some initial analysis with the UK variant, particularly with respect to the vaccines and the monoclonal antibodies, and the medical products that we have right now do appear to be effective against that UK variant. There's more concern around the South African variant because that variant has mutated the spike protein, the protein that's the target for our vaccines and our antibodies, in a way that could um, defeat at least the antibodies and perhaps make the vaccines less effective. We're going to have data on the vaccines in the next couple of weeks. Pfizer, the company I'm on the board of, is working on developing some of that data. So we'll have a better answer on that question. But it just goes to show you that these viruses are going to evolve. I mean, this virus has been running through the world, around the world, racing around the world, largely unchecked. It's been under some selective pressure with the widespread use, for example, of convalescent plasma. So it's inevitable that we're going to see these kinds of mutations in this virus. And this is probably going to be a constant struggle. We're going to have to update our vaccines and our antibody drugs and other therapeutics regularly to keep up with these new variants as they emerge. The White House task force told some state governors this week that there may be a new American variant of this virus. Then the CD said, C said yesterday basically they're still trying to figure it out and it could take weeks or months to identify is there something that is making this surge worse right now other than our own bad behavior yeah I don't think so, and the people I've spoken to um, don't think so. There is a variant in the U.S. that has become the predominant variant right now that's different than the original infection, but that's inevitable that you're going to see evolution in the strains that are circulating. There's no evidence to suggest that it's more fit, more transmissible, uh, and we don't think the South African variant and the U.K. variant are very um, prevalent here right now. But the game has changed on the vaccine. To go back to the um, discussion you were having at the top of this uh, this hit, we really need to get this vaccine out more quickly um, because because this is really our only tool, our only backstop against the spread of these new variants. If we can get a lot of people vaccinated quickly, we might be able to get enough protective immunity into the population that this stops spreading at the rate that it is. So we need to acknowledge that it's not working. We need to hit the reset and adopt a new strategy and trying to get that out to patients. I mean, there's only 10 days left to the Trump administration. Keep talking about reset, man. All right, before I begin this video, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory. And to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, Ha'arakakwadash. Double honors to the apostle elders of the great millstone who rule well, teach well, and honors to you brothers who are bringing out this word in sincerity and in faith. So let me just, uh, just let this uh, devil keep talking for a couple minutes. And I'm going to read this precept and, uh, you know, it's going to be a quick video. Administration, But they started to acknowledge that the federal plan has some problems because they told states to maybe broaden out who they make the vaccine available to. The president-elect now says he's going to do what you've been talking about, which is release all available supply as soon as he takes office. But does releasing supply solve the problem here if it's really about uptake? 
Well, it's a distribution issue right now. It will be a supply issue in two or three weeks, maybe if they can get the distribution right. Right now, there's 40 million doses sitting on a shelf somewhere. So the feds say it's with the states. The states say with, it's with the feds. It really doesn't matter to the patient who's not getting access to the, to the injection. You have 40 million on the shelf. We have 50 million Americans above the age of 65. So we have supply to push it out to that population more aggressively. I think we need to take an all the above approach and push it out through different channels, including the big box stores, including federal sites that the Biden administration is talking about standing up. We need to try everything right now to create multiple distribution points. A lot of senior citizens aren't going to want to go to a, a, you know, a stadium to get an inoculation. They're going to want to go to a pharmacy, a local pharmacy or a doctor's office. So we need to provide more opportunity for people to get a uh, vaccination where they're comfortable getting it. But we do need to get these out more aggressively. Right now, you're right, it's a distribution issue. It will become a supply issue once we get the, uh, the logistics down right. And we don't have that right now. Um, we aren't doing a good job getting this to patients. Was the siege of the Capitol this week potentially a super spreader event? Of course. I mean, there's going to be chains of transmission that come out of that kind of mass gathering. And the crowd wasn't adhering to um, what we know are good practices in terms of mask wearing and other things. And I think, I think they deliberately um, eschewed those things. So, yeah, we're going to see change. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 55, and verse 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Yes, this damn devil. He's, you know, he's talking about all oh, the, uh, the max this and the max that and wearing the masks. and It's all a bunch of BS, right? He says, but war was in his heart. Yeah, so he did, he, he, um, he, his whole thing is war, man. He wants to create chaos. Okay, him and his people. It says, uh, and, you know, he could be a Jake, but, uh, you know, I'm just saying he, he's E uh, for all uh, intensive purposes, okay? It says, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. So, yeah, he's saying, okay, safety, right? Okay, we need this in order to be safe. Okay, in order for you to function in society, that's what they want you to do. Okay, they want you. They want you to take this max, and he said uh, Maxine with a S. He wants multiple doses, not just one, not just two. Okay, three, four, five, six. You know, for the foreseeable future. Okay. Yeah. He wants to max you. He wants to maxinate uh, everybody, man. Okay. He wants to even uh, max Maxine, the uh, small infants, the newborn babies, man. As soon as a newborn baby is born, they want to take that jab and, and, and get them, you know. Uh, verse 22. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. So, so the elect, right, which right now is the hopeful elect, is not going to be moved, right? Because we're going we're gonna to be sustained. We're going to be sustained by the Heavenly Father through his son, Yahweh Shai. He's, he shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. So it's not like one, you know, oh, I forgot this elect. Damn, you know. No, no, no. All of the elect, okay, are going to be delivered. All right. <clears throat> and this is just through the spirit. But, you know, all of the hopeful elect are, are not going to take uh, 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 the jab, man. You know, and most definitely all of the elect are not going to take that chip. All right, because taking that max, you seen what's been happening in the news. People just dropping down dead. All right, that's, that's the Lord doing that, man. Uh, it says, but thou, O power, shalt bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. I'll trust in me. So yeah, right as their belly, belly gets full, right, they collect all this money, they do all these different things. So that's when the Lord is going to come, okay? And he's going to exact his revenge, okay? When you continue to go on, it reads uh, something very important. Psalms chapter 56 and verse 2. My enemies would daily swallow me up. For there be many that fight against me, O thou most high. So yeah, you got two thirds of Israel, you got the other nations, and you got E. So it's literally the remnant versus everybody. Uh, it says verse three, what time I am afraid 
I will trust in me. So yeah, you know, you may lose house, family, job, you know, your kids, right? They might try to take away your kids for not uh, uh, getting a jab, man. You got to be prepared for that. And ultimately, you know, these elite, they believe that the state uh, owns your kids, man, and owns you. Yeah, ultimately, we know the help Hashimi Shai owns us, man, speaking about Israel. You know, especially the, the elect, you know, the hopeful elect, you know, Salakia. <clears throat> it says, um, what time I am afraid I will trust in me, and Yahweh I will praise his word. Okay, and and Yahweh Shai is the word, so you have to praise Yahweh Shai also, right? It says, in Yahweh I have put my trust, I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. See, I don't fear what a hey, what so-called white man can do to you. Okay, every day they rest my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather themselves together. They hide themselves. They mark my steps when they wait for my soul. Shall they escape by iniquity? In thine anger, cast down the people, O Yahweh. Thou tellest my wanderings. Put thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? Yes, so uh, this book, right, chronicalizes the lives of all of uh, all of uh, 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 the elect of Israel, right? In deed, okay, in word, all these different men: Habakkuk, John, Amos, you know, Zechariah. These these men are the elect, okay. And it's giving it's giving you like a guidebook. Uh, on how to live, you know. And Shabbat Shalom to you, brothers, man. When I cry unto thee, then shall my enemies turn back. This I know for Yahweh is with me. And see, that's how you know that all the men in the book uh, are of the elect because they continue to cry out to the Lord. Okay, it says, it's verse 10, and Yahweh will I praise his word, and the Lord will I praise his word. And yet, however, I put my trust, I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Thy vows are upon me, O Yahweh. I will render praises unto thee. For thou hast delivered my soul from death. Yes, yeah, so we, you know, we're praying to be delivered by the Heavenly Father through His Son. We don't pray to get delivered by no, by no jab, by this, you know, system, by voting, by money, you know. By your woman, okay. By your four hundred one k, none of that. Ultimately, Yahweh shot, okay. It says, "Will not thou deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before Yahweh in the light of the living?" All right. So, in 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 the kingdom of heaven, man, the elect really is the is the light, the premier light, the enlightened ones, the the governors of of the whole earth through. Yahweh Shai, King David, right? The 144,000. Okay, the governing body of the Heavenly Father uh, through His Son. And to just endure, you know, as an honor. You know, the Wadi Yahweh for setting us up, man. You know, setting us up in righteousness. For us to continue to resist this Maxine. And right after this vaccine, they're gonna start to institute the chip. So, so, so pray about that. And Shabbat Shalom to you, brothers, man. But pray about that. Pray that that you know you get delivered, and that the Spirit is on you to resist these the wiles of the devil, man. Cause he's out here. He's out here, and he's here to he's here to destroy. You know, it says that his words were smoother than than butter. Butter is smooth. Shit, you, you you take a piece of butter and put it on, on a tile floor, your ass will slip. Okay, so he's, he's slick, he's smooth. Okay, but he has he, he has drawn swords, you know. So he, he's always on a weaponized attack. You know, and, and, and war involves strategy. See, he is a strategist, okay. He's very resourceful and he's very strategic. 
So make sure that you know that you, you take uh, uh, heed to that. You know, have half the mind to to really consider that, because the the serpent that came in the garden had a whole game plan. Okay, he did, he didn't just come around. No, man, he had a whole game plan on way on how he was to deceive uh, uh, Eve and, uh, uh, and and to deceive Adam through Eve, man. And it's the same thing as now. You know, they're gonna uh, sway the minds of the women, the children. And in turn, that'll sway the minds of the men. It's all under the guise of safety. It's all under the uh, guise of, you know, to trust in science. You know, for, for these things to be revealed to you. And he's speaking of he's speaking about evolution and all this other bullshit. Okay. We 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 are worried about the heavenly Father's Son coming back and saving us from this situation, man. And we almost in that time, brothers and few sisters. We almost in that time. I can feel it. You know, being up in them chairs, man. It's going to be a beautiful sight. So, bro, I'll call Akim once again to you, brothers, man. I can't say that enough. Call Allah, call Allah, Allah, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Ha'arachah, Chodash. Give honors to the Apostle Elders of the Great Millstone who rule well. And teach well and taught me this truth and honest to you brothers who are bringing out the word in sincerity and in faith man just keep pushing All right, just keep pushing man resist resist that uh, jab and resist that chip man because we coming up soon to where it's going to be a, it's going to be a temptation unto, unto the whole world okay yet the hopeful elect remnant of Israel are not going to t even consider taking the chip, even consider taking the max. We'd rather die, man. All right. So, uh, uh, Shabbat Shalom once again. You know, call Allah, call Allah, Yama Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Ha'arachah, Kodash. And, you know, you know, Wa Ba'ad Ba'ad, man. You know, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Mashapatyam, a warrior, call the wicked two thirds, all of the other nations, and E. You know, the water, the water Yaba Shemiao Shai. Alright, so until uh, the next video, you know, it's, it's, it's on to the next one. And uh, inshallah to you brothers, man, and you few sisters, man. Shabbat Shalom. Kahalo Yaba Shemiao Shabbat Shem. Harakha Khodash. Rock a thumb to you, okay? Shallow up.